Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This guide shows you how to create a DVD that you can play in a DVD player from your home videos. So first of all, we need to download a couple of things to the PC. So I would recommend going into Microsoft Edge and once Microsoft Edge is open, go to the address bar right at the very top of the screen. Oops, I've got this uh, update uh, settings pop up come up here. I'm just gonna click don't update your browser settings and then click apply settings. Okay, so we need to go into the address bar right at the very top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle, but the address bar right at the top. If there's anything in it, delete it out. Okay, and then we need to type in there dvdflick.net. That's dvdflick.net, all in lowercase and no spaces just as it's shown on the screen. I will try and put a link to this in the description of this video. Once you've done that, press enter or return on your keyboard. Then you should get this page load. Move your mouse over download in the bar at the top of the screen there, left click once, and then scroll down and we need to go to download DVD flick just here. Click on that. Okay, so we need to click on this cookie window. I'm gonna click I do not accept. It'll still let us download it. And the little countdown timer in green there is just counting down and the download should start automatically. As you can see there, it's now started in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you're using Edge, you'll have the same system. And then once it's downloaded, it's just gonna do a little scan for uh, viruses, which might take a little while, just be patient with it. And there you go, when it's ready, you've got an open file there button just there if you're using Microsoft Edge. If you're not using Microsoft Edge, then you'll have to go into a yellow folder and then into downloads and find DVD flick underscore setup underscore 1.3.0.7. Okay, so I've got it up here, so I'm just gonna click open file, and then I've just got this box come up in the middle of the screen. I'm just gonna click run on there. And then you'll get, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Okay, so move your mouse over, yes, left click once. Then we need to move our mouse over next, left click. Move our mouse over the circle just to the left of I accept the agreement, left click. Move your mouse over next, again, left click. Left click next again and left click next again and then left click next again and then left click install. There's a lot of nexts there and a lot of installs and a lot of left clicks as well, but this bit shouldn't take too long. There we go, it's just registering the files at the moment, just be patient. So we've got some more left clicks here. So we've got a left click next there and we've got a finish just here. And then if we want to clean up the download file that we just downloaded from our downloads folder, all we need to do is if we're in Microsoft Edge, we just click on this open downloads folder there, find DVD flick setup, left click once on it, and then left click delete. Now, if obviously you didn't download with Edge, then what you can do is you can go into any yellow folder down there, click on downloads, click on DVD flick underscore setup underscore 1.3.0.7, and then left click delete there. And then where it says, do you want to remove this file to the recycle bin? Left click, yes. There you go. And let's just come out of that file there. Let's just click on the cross there. Let's click on the cross in edge there. And now we've got a DVD flick icon just on the screen, just there. So uh, we can double click on that. And there we go, we get this welcome to DVD flick. So there's a few guides here if we want to uh, have a look through, or we've got the forums or the website there for guidance, but we click on close here. And then what we wanna do is we wanna add a title, that's a video we wanna add. So click on add a title in the top right hand corner there. And we need to find our videos. Now mine's in the video section. And what I wanna do is I wanna add these two here. So I'm just gonna double click on uh, one of the videos first of all, and that's just adding it. There we go. And I want to add another title. That's another video to it. So I'm going to click on add title there and I'm just going to double click on this one here. OK, so we can move these around if we want. If we want this video here to be played in front of the one above, then we can use move up or move down. We can also go into menu settings if we want to create a, uh, a flashy sort of menu there for the DVD. 
I'm not going to go too far into that on this video here. I'm not going to go into it at all in actual fact. Um, and then when we're ready, we just click on create DVD. Now this bit is going to take a bit of time. If your video is quite a large video, it could take several hours. And it might look at times as though as if it's got stuck, but believe me, it hasn't. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's nearing the end of creating the actual files. Okay, so we're getting near to the end of the encoding stage. That's of the first video. Don't forget, in my example, I've done two videos. So if you've done more than one video, then this green bar has got to go all the way to the top again, several times, depending on how many videos you've actually created. And there we go. As I say, it's just starting the next video now. So just be patient with it, as I say. It's nearly finished encoding the video. Now it's just encoding the audio. Hopefully this shouldn't take anywhere near as long as the video. As you can see, the green line is flying up the uh, bar and uh, it's now doing the second track. So the second video. And again, hopefully this shouldn't take too long. So no, there you go. In the next step, it's going to combine both the audio and the video together. And don't worry, it does this all for you. So here we go. It's just doing that as we speak. Now this might take a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's done that section. There we go. It's done that. And now it's uh, creating the DVD files. So uh, hopefully this shouldn't take too long. There we go. And it's now finished. So the next thing we need to do is we can close down this program. Let's close it right the way down. Um, in actual fact, before we close it down, just want to check to see where the, uh, the, the, the project files are. And that's in a folder called DVD in documents. Hopefully yours will be the same. So uh, let's just exit. And next thing we need to do is pop the DVD into our DVD writer and that should be a blank DVD. You can't write to a DVD that's already got stuff on it. So it has to be a brand new blank DVD. There we go. It's just uh, given us a notification in the bottom right hand corner to say that it's, uh, it's found the DVD that we've just put in. And the next thing we need to do is we need to click on a yellow folder. Any yellow folder on the screen will do. And then go into documents and go into the DVD folder there and then go into the DVD folder just there. And what we need to do is we need to copy both of these folders here, the audio underscore TS and the video underscore TS. Now let's just highlight video TS and then hold down the CTRL key on the keyboard and click on audio TS. Okay, let go of the control key. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down the left mouse button on one of those files and we're going to drag it slowly down to DVD RW. Now if that disappears off the screen like it has mine, I've just let go of the left mouse button with the, uh, the, the files being over on a blank area. Okay, and I'm going to do this again. So uh, let's just click on video TS, hold down the CTRL key or control key on your keyboard, then click on audio TS, let go of the control key and then just keep the left mouse button held down and drag it down and then across to DVD RW. And as soon as DVD RW goes blue, let go. Okay, so as you can see here, it says, how do you want to use this disc? Well, we want to use it with a CD stroke DVD player. So click on the little circle just to the left of with a CD stroke DVD player. And then we can give the disc a title if we want to. So at the moment it's put today's date in there, but I can put anything in there. So I'm just going to call that guides because that's what that's what the actual uh, DVD is going to contain is video guides. Now, I must stress that you can't again, you can't add more videos after to the DVD once you've um, added your, your these files here that's it you can't add any more to them if it's a dvd rewritable again you can't add more stuff to it but you can erase the disc and obviously start again with it so okay so with a cd stroke dvd player selected there click next and then click on dvd stroke rw and in actual fact it hasn't copied the files in there so i'm going to just try this again it is a bit of a black art so let's go up to documents Go to DVD, go to the second DVD, okay, and 
let's just click on video TS, hold down the CTRL key on the keyboard, click on audio TS, let go of the CTRL key and let's click and hold the left mouse button down on any one of the two folders there, move it down and let's go across to DVD or W drive, once it's gone blue let's let go of those, there we go, that's now in there and then what we want to do is we want to click drive tools up there and click on finish burning okay so there you go you've got a chance now to change the disc title if you don't like what the disc title is you can change the recording speed there on some discs I can't at the moment so I'm just going to move my mouse over next left click once and it's going to now start to burn the disc now this bit might take quite a while and it might look at times as if the disc isn't doing anything please just be patient with it if you're doing this on a laptop please make sure that it's plugged in at the mains or at least has plenty of battery available to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this video and we're going to come back to it in a few minutes there's an estimated time left there of seven minutes showing on mine but take that time with a pinch of salt it's never a hundred percent accurate so I'm going to pause this video and like I say we're going to come back to it a little bit later okay so there we go it says the disc is finished and then all I do is I just click on finished there the disc has actually ejected itself I'm just going to uh, close this window down and we're just going to check the disc so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open VLC player which I've got installed on this computer so just let's just open that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the uh, the DVD back into the drive now. It might take a few moments for it to be recognized, so uh, just be patient. Shouldn't take too long. Give it perhaps, I'd say 10, 20 seconds, as you can see. There you go, it's, it's found it. So if I go up to media here, and then go to open disc, and then I click play just here, hopefully it should start playing. There we go and uh, the DVD has started playing. If you want to delete those files that DVD Flip created on your hard drive, then all you do is open up any yellow folder, click on Documents, okay, and click on DVD there, and then click on Delete just up there, and then click Yes, and then that gets rid of them off of the computer. You can then, if you want to, empty the recycle bin, so just right-click on the recycle bin, left-click Empty Recycle Bin, then left-click Yes and that's it, the files have been deleted. So there you go, that guide showed you how to burn your home movies onto a DVD to be played in a regular DVD player. Hope this guide helps, and if you liked the video, please don't forget to hit that like button, and if your friends would find this uh, interesting, then don't forget to share this video on your social media timelines. Finally, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.